All right, friends, for our circle activity today, to go along with There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Chick, which is our Easter book, because this week we are talking about things that go with Easter, we are going to be doing this matching activity. So, as always, there's different ways to be able to do this activity. So you should have this sheet, and then you should have all of these little pieces that we have cut out for you. So the first way to do this activity is to just hold up one of the items. So holding up one and make sure if you want to limit the field, remember always have a piece of paper available to cover up the additional rows that aren't needed for the children. So you hold up the target item and you can see that it's available in this row. So make sure that the other rows are covered and what you'll do is you'll just hold up and look and say, look, I see an egg and this egg has a heart on it. Get egg. So you're just gonna hold up one picture. Provide the prompting strategies needed that we've talked about in all of our previous videos in order for your child to get the egg. Once they get the egg, then you'll say, find same. So if this is an appropriate field, great. If you feel like they need a larger field, you can move the paper up to provide a larger field. So maybe you wanna give them two rows or three rows or the entire paper. But let's say they just need the one row because the other's too much for them. So once they have the egg, they hopefully can independently find same. If they're unable to do that, then you would provide again the prompting strategies. So remember first you would point and say find same. If they're still unable to do that, you would provide the partial prompting, which is either the elbow or wrist prompt. If they're still unable to do it, you would provide hand over hand assistance for them to find same. And make sure that you're reinforcing. So that could either be a verbal praise, so you're saying, good job finding same. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you have a tangible reinforcer for them. So um, maybe a toy that they really like, or an edible reinforcer, so like a cookie or um, an M&M or a snack like that. So the next way to be able to do this activity is to hold up a field of two. So this is receptively identifying, which we've talked about before. So you would hold up maybe the egg and, ooh, I see a bunny, a blue bunny and an egg with a heart on it. So you would hold up the two and you would say, get egg, get egg. And this is where you would provide the prompting strategies if your child is unable to independently and spontaneously get the correct item the first time. So this is where you provide the first, the gestural prompt. So you'd say, get egg, or you can maybe push the egg closer to them. And then you would provide the partial prompt, prompt, partial prompt or the full prompt by hand over hand, getting the correct item. So then once they get it, you would then say, fine, same. And if you feel like they need a smaller field, you can keep the smaller field, or you can take the paper off and you can just have the entire paper available. So continue to do that from a field of three, or you can try to do a larger field by putting three pictures down and saying, okay, look, I want you to get egg. Again, you provide the prompting strategies that we've talked about, and once they get the correct item, you would say, find, same. The next way, and this is the hardest way of being able to do it, is holding up two of the items. And maybe you can say, I want you to show me, okay? So maybe work on some like features, functions, or attributes of the items. So holding up these two, and I see a carrot and a chick. I want you to get the one we eat. Or you can say, get the one that grows in the ground. What one grows in the ground? So this becomes more than just a simple matching task. This is a little bit more. So we're working on the features, functions, or attributes of the items. So which one grows in the ground? Good job, the carrot grows in the ground. And then they would then work on the matching, find, same. So the next one you could say, all right, which one Well, you have two eggs. You'd say, which one has stripes? Get the egg that has stripes. And then you would provide the prompting strategies that we've discussed. So if you have any questions or um, want to know maybe what level your child is at or what you should be targeting when you're doing this activity, please feel free to reach out. 
um, and make sure too, we also sent home this tracing activity um, that you can do with your child. And always remember too that we sent home names. So make sure that you're working on your child's name with them. Um, and that's it. And also, um, don't forget to do the craft. And I hope you guys have a great day.